What's up guys, Ben here, bringing you another video today. No glasses, contacts are finally here. I've been wanting to do this for a while, so I finally got fitted again for contacts. We're good to go there. You may occasionally see me wear glasses if I feel like not wearing contacts on a given day, but anyway, all that aside, we got week two of the major five qualifiers coming up. As always on Wednesday, we do our predictions, so let's dive in and see what we have in store for the next couple days. All right, so we didn't do too bad week one. I kind of whiffed on Saturday, but the other two days are pretty good. So looking to keep that moving and grooving for week two. It's also bounty week. And honestly, a lot of the bounty matches are kind of, eh. but we'll get to that. Let's start off with Friday. We got London versus LAG. I'm very curious. Looks like fans are 71% on LAG, 30 on London, but London's won the last two times they played game five. And I feel like right now with LAG, I think they're just kind of dead. Um, so I, it's not going to be a clean one, but I am going to go London 3-2 and keep the streak going. I just feel like in a battle of teams that are really struggling, they're the one that I think is more likely to have like head on their shoulders correctly. LAG are just lost and are probably going to keep stacking up the L's for the rest of the split. All right, next up we have Boston versus Florida. This is a double points uh, matchup. Uh, I don't think Florida played horrible to begin uh this split we've only seen one game uh from boston on land they looked pretty good against rocker the florida match against leg was a little mixy um but they were able to get it done i just feel like boston probably takes this one uh i'm thinking a 3-0 3-1 might be fair but i just feel like boston's probably just in a better spot they've got that reese vivid move a little bit of a honeymoon and i think there's gonna out talent uh, a florida team that's uh Got one foot on the Sands on vacation. Then finally, we got actually a good match. Uh, Vegas versus FaZe. I assume most people are in on FaZe, and, and Vegas being FaZe would be a massive uh, upset. I think Vegas will take at least one map. They're good for it, but I just don't see it with FaZe in the control. I, I think FaZe takes at least one hard point. So 3-1 seems like a fair result for uh, that matchup. That would be a similar result, I think, to the last time they played. Uh, I think it was 2 Majors ago, so not would be a bad showing for Vegas. I don't think there's the, the match that they're going to get uh, to split a W, but the rest I feel pretty decent about. All right, and then next up, we got FaZe playing back to back games. They're playing Friday night and first match on Saturday against London. And sorry, London boys, like I just think this one's a smoke show. I assume, yeah, nine. This might be one of the most lopsided fan predictions I've seen. Uh, on the Pick'em website, 98 to 2. Now, London did beat them once. That was last. Um, summer but totally different london team i just don't see it 3-0 in fact i'm gonna double points this we're just gonna boost it uh i feel that confident about it all right we got florida versus uh la thieves and i gotta say this is probably probably another 3-0 i just don't i think even with thieves is a recent struggles in snd i just don't see them losing to florida especially any of the respawns i want to maybe give florida a map but i feel like thieves are going to come correct in this first match and get it done. All right, we're gonna keep it moving. We got Optic versus Seattle. This one is uh, an interesting one. I think Optic is gonna win. It's just a question of how many maps we want to give Seattle. Both times that they have played this season, Seattle's taken at least uh, one map. So let's give them that. Uh, but the Seattle team, I'm very worried about. The search seems to have regressed again. I think they could steal like a first map hard point or, or a control where Pred goes off. But I just feel like Optic take two or three respawns. And maybe they search and get it done. All right. Last match on Saturday, LAG versus the New York subliners. Fan votes are probably pretty lopsided on the New York side. And LAG only last beat them in February of last year. They've played twice this season in the beginning of the season. And LAG didn't get a map. I'm going to get that to continue. I'm going to call it 3-0. I just, um, yeah, no, it's been a tough slang for LAG. And they don't really have a standout game mode or standout map in this kind of L streak. And so I just don't think they have anything to fall back. And I think New York will clean sweep them. So I got three three O's uh, on uh, Saturday. Could be a, a fast one, honestly, uh, if these series go uh, the way that I'm predicting. Moving the screen over, we got a couple of matches on Sunday, starting off with the Minnesota Rocker versus L, uh, Vegas Legion. This might be the most important match of this split to date. Both teams sitting on the bubble. I think a lot of people are in on Vegas, but I really wouldn't count out Rocker in this matchup, even though Vegas has beaten them every time this season. In classic Vegas form though, I don't think they're gonna make this clean. I think Rocker is gonna make it a little dicey for them. Weirdly, I got Vegas um, really favored in the SNDs. I feel like Rocker could steal a control against Vegas and maybe one of the hard points. You never know, but if this goes to five, I'm still feeling good about Vegas. So. 
I'll have them get it done there. I don't think it's a I don't think it's a coin flip series. I'm picking the game five just because Vegas play up and down to people at times, but uh I don't think Rockers anywhere good to close to being a good search team, and I feel like Vegas is gonna uh use that advantage to their liking. All right, next up we have Optic Texas versus the Toronto Ultra. This is a really, really fun one. I think Toronto's looking looking nasty heading towards the major that they're hosting. Obviously, Optic's playing well. Uh, as well, I am going to take Toronto in a game five in this one. I think Toronto will win a search. Uh, I think they have a pretty decent record if we take a look against Optic this year. Yeah, uh, they have played actually a bunch this season. Toronto has won three of the four matchups and most recently with the squad. They've won uh, two of them. So I feel good about Toronto in the rematch getting it done. It wouldn't be that bad of a loss for Optic. Game five is what it is, but I think Toronto is uh i think toronto's gonna get a top seed going in this event but that being said i can see this being a coin flip if, if toronto don't have a good day because they look great last weekend this is their only match of the weekend so if they come in soft they can get ran but i feel like if they actually come the way they should based on last weekend i feel like they get it done against out there and then we got boston versus seattle i really don't know what to think of this matchup both teams are kind of iffy but weirdly enough looking at the results going all the way back the last season, it looks like the Seattle team is not able to beat Boston. Kind of wild. I didn't realize that. And it's a little surprising that the people that have made the predictions haven't banked on that. I think Boston get it done. And I'm actually going to take a game five for now. Might be a 3-1 depending on how Seattle play against Optic. But we're going to lock in Boston for that one. Scroll down, you see my, my pick there. I just, uh, with Seattle, can't trust their searches. Going to be a couple of hotel square ups on this map. Maybe get like... A fortress or something but yeah i just feel like ball we got to play the history on this one because it's not great these teams played a lot last season they played twice so far this year and both times uh seattle has not beaten them so obviously i'll get in one extra map lock in the three two overall i don't feel bad about this week i think saturday and i'm not saying don't tune in because i will always be here watching cod and you should definitely check out our watch party i think seattle is going to be a little bit of a straightforward day i just don't see any upsets really on the cards um, and I think the matches on Sunday are actually really good. So I'm excited. This is a weird, this is a weird week in terms of scheduling, but, um, let's go ahead, save our predictions, lock it in, and we'll see you guys on Friday for the matches. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of my, uh, predictions. I think it was a pretty straightforward week. I don't think, I think Boston, Seattle, Rocker, Vegas are maybe really the only kind of coin flippy series. I think everything else is pretty straightforward. So let me know in the comments if you guys agree with that. Like, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more. As always, guys, we will see you on the next one.